We begin tonight with the passing of former Wisconsin Governor Tony Earl. He was the state's 41st governor. This past weekend, Earl was hospitalized after suffering a stroke. According to a statement released by Governor Tony Evers, Earl passed away peacefully today, surrounded by loved ones at the age of 86. Mark Kane has more on Tony Earl's legacy and impact in Wisconsin. Tony Earl announced he was running for governor in 1982 after Lee Dreyfus declined to run for re-election. Earl was born in Lansing, Michigan and attended Michigan State University and the University of Chicago Law School. Before serving as governor, Earl led the Department of Administration and the Department of Natural Resources. He also served multiple terms in the state assembly before running for governor. He defeated Republican Terry Kohler by more than 234,000 votes. Taking office, he faced a billion-dollar budget once. deficit and signed legislation times. making a 5% sales tax permanent. This is a budget which increases property tax relief by over $700 million, the most historic increase in property tax relief in the history of this state. As governor, he was an advocate for legislation promoting the environment, education, and equal opportunity. In 1986, he lost his re-election bid to Republican Tommy Thompson by nearly 100,000 votes, but he didn't regret the time he served as governor. He was asked what he was not going to pursue after leaving office. Lobbying, <laughs> heavy physical labor, <laughs> and agriculture. Earl later became a partner in one of the largest law firms in the state and was involved in Common Cause, getting elected to their national governing board. Tony Earl was 86 years old. Today, Governor Tony Evers ordering all flags be flown at half staff in honor of the former governor. In a statement he says of Earl, in part, quote, Tony was always a staunch defender of our state's proud traditions, including conservation, and his passing is a significant loss for our state and for all who had the fortune of meeting and serving with him. His wisdom and wit will be well missed. That wit and wisdom is how many who knew and worked with Earl described it. But if you were watching the news back in the 80s, that what would that have been like? Political reporter Will Keneally sat down with a reporter who covered him. So something that us reporters on the other side of the camera appreciate, a politician that does not duck the hard questions. That's how longtime Wisconsin Public Television producer Dave Iverson described his time covering Earl. And it's almost to a fault. He says that Earl not ducking the tough questions limited his political future in some ways. But it was some of the moments off camera that Iverson remembers of Earl. He was a kind and gracious man. And uh, I, I, it would be great if people could remember that kind of person and that kind of politics on the day of his passing. One of the stories that Iverson told was of the time that he was talking to Earl at the TV studio. And he says that he hustled him into buying some Girl Scout cookies on behalf of his daughter. Now, when it came time to drop them off, Earl gave him and his daughter the grand tour of the governor's mansion. And all that's part of the remembrance that we have coming in of the news of former Governor Tony Earl's passing. We'll have a full collection up online at channel3000.com.